Welcome to Berea College's Carter G. Woodson Center for Interracial Education. The center opened in October 2012, and its space in the alumni building at Berea College includes the Black Cultural Center and the African and African American Studies program. With the addition of the Carter G. Woodson Center to the college's campus, Berea continues its commitment to interracial education as set forth by our founder, Reverend John G. Fee, before the Civil War. Fee's father was a slave owner in Bracken County, Kentucky. Fee's mother was an anti-slavery Quaker. Fee became a Presbyterian minister and abolitionist along with his wife, Matilda. As an integrationist, Fee was a visionary more than 100 years ahead of his time. When Fee graduated from Lane Seminary in Cincinnati, Ohio, his father gave him 4,000 acres of land in Indiana to begin his adult life. Fee accepted the gift from his father, then he promptly sold the land. He used the proceeds from the sale to purchase the freedom of the slave woman who raised him, Juliet Miles. And with leftover funds, he financed publication of his first anti-slavery manual. Fee's mission wasn't all about interracial education. He believed in the co-education of women of all colors too. He thought this at a time when women were largely discouraged from pursuing book learning. They were largely discouraged from acquiring informed opinions of any sort. Fee modeled Berea College after Oberlin College in Ohio, which, having been founded in 1833, was already two decades old. In fact, the first president of Berea College was Edward Fairchild, a graduate of Oberlin. Beginning in 1855, Fee and his growing staff were able to do something that was not being done anywhere else in the South, the education of whites and blacks, men and women, together in the same classrooms. Beginning in 1859, a mob angry over Fee's comments regarding John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, expelled the administrators and faculty of Berea College and forced them to leave Kentucky. The majority fled to various parts of Ohio. Berea College stayed closed until after the Civil War, from 1859 until 1865, when the 13th Amendment abolishing slavery was adopted. For nearly six years, the dream and the vision of Berea remained frozen. During this period in exile from his beloved Berea, Fee and his family lived and worked at the Federal Troop Stronghold at Camp Nelson in Jessamine County, Kentucky. The Emancipation Proclamation freed slaves and states rebelling against the Union. As an important border state, Kentucky was not one of these states. Enslaved African Americans in Kentucky were not freed during the Civil War. Their official emancipation finally happened in December 1865. But even that wasn't ratified by the Commonwealth of Kentucky until 1976. Nevertheless, at Camp Nelson, Fee started a church and school for African American soldiers and their families. When Berea schools reopened their doors after the Civil War, 66% of the students were African American and 34% were white. At Fee's urging, many African American soldiers from Camp Nelson came to Berea College to be educated. The college grew and continued its mission of interracial co-education for 40 years before facing another roadblock. In 1904, Kentucky State Representative Carl Day proposed a law that would not allow the education of black and white students together. Berea College fought this law for four years, all the way to the Supreme Court. But the college lost the case of Berea College versus Kentucky. For the next 46 years, Berea's student body was made primarily of white students. In an effort to continue its commitment to black education, Berea founded Lincoln Institute in Shelby County, Kentucky, near Louisville. African-American students who could no longer attend classes at Berea were encouraged to attend Lincoln Institute and other historically black colleges in the South. Aided by mandated segregation, Berea College's focus shifted from interracial education to the education of white mountain youth. It was during this time Berea established its international student program. In 1950, the Day Law was amended and Berea College was once again able to integrate African American and white students. Today, about 18% of our student body is African American. 
This center was named after Carter G. Woodson, a 1903 graduate of the college and the acclaimed father of African American history. Woodson's parents were freed slaves in New Canton, Virginia, but Carter G. Woodson was never a slave. Woodson graduated from Berea in 1903, a year before the day law went into effect. He then went on to complete a second bachelor's degree and a master's degree at the University of Chicago. After that, he enrolled at Harvard University, where he became the second African American to earn a PhD from that institution, writing his dissertation on American Reconstruction, still considered one of the best treatises on the subject. Woodson devoted his life to historical research. He never married and is quoted as saying he was married to his work. He wrote 27 books, and his most popular book, The Miseducation of the Negro, is still in print. Woodson died at age 74 and is buried at Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Maryland. His home in Washington, D.C. has been preserved and is now designated a National Historic Site under management by the National Park Service. The Carter G. Woodson Center at Berea College includes the James S. Hathaway Resource Library. James Hathaway was born a slave in Mount Sterling, Kentucky and graduated from Berea in 1874 after the Civil War and 30 years before the Day Law. Hathaway became Berea's first black professor of Latin, science, and mathematics. He went on to become a president of Kentucky State University in Frankfort, Kentucky's only historically black university. Three other Berea College African American graduates have served as president of that university. The founding of the Carter G. Woodson Center celebrates this precious history of John Fee's vision for interracial education. It celebrates decades of progress and memorializes those decades of setbacks. This center is a beautiful beacon that illuminates the great commitments of Berea College. We look forward to seeing you here.